So the last type of share is a bonus issue. So we've been through the ordinary shares, we've been through premium shares, we've been through a rights issue, and the fourth is a bonus issue. Okay, so a bonus issue is when a business issues free shares to existing shareholders. Okay, and one of the most common reasons for a business doing this is usually when they don't have any enough profits to pay a dividend. Okay, so instead of paying uh, dividends to shareholders, they commonly provide free shares. Okay, so they give them additional shares instead of a share of profits, which is known as a dividend. And a bonus issue is typically done based on the number of shares that shareholders have. Okay, so if you are a shareholder and you have many shares held with held um, by a company, then you are more likely to get more of a higher share of bonus issue, basically. Okay, and it's similar to a rights issue. If you remember, if we go back to the rights issue, the rights issue was when you know shares are given to existing shareholders at a price you know for example two for every five you know they'll give you two for every five at 40p for example a bonus issue is done in a similar basis you know a you will give you two shares for every 10 that you have for example okay so a company has two hundred thousand pounds worth of shares and they are at the 25p nominal value this particular company decided to have a bonus issue for five new shares for every one that is held. So if you are a shareholder and you have one share, then you will receive five new shares, okay, which are free of charge. So how do we work this out? Similar to the rights issue. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is work out how many shares do we have. We have two hundred thousand pounds worth of shares, twenty-five P per share. So we have 800,000 800, shares in issue Q referring to quantity. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to give five for every one. So five new for every one. And if we have 800,000 shares now, we're going to be giving five times by five. So we're going to be giving four million shares free. At what price? A bonus issue is always done at the nominal value, always at the nominal value. Okay, we're not selling them, so we can't sell them at a premium. We issue them at the nominal value. So 800,000 times by five, we are going to be issuing 4 million shares at a price of 25p, which is 1 million pounds. So a business has 200,000 pounds worth of shares already, and they are going to be issuing four million shares and on the books they are going to be worth one million for the new ones so in total they will have two hundred thousand pounds worth of shares and a further million so in total the book will have 1.2 million pounds worth of ordinary share value okay known as basically share capital okay i mean for existing shareholders for existing shareholders, they will have the shares they already have, and they will have, they will be given new shares, uh, you know, an issue of free shares, a bonus issue. Generally, what happens when it, when a business does that is the share price normally corrects itself. Okay, so the share price will fall because you're issuing more shares. The, the value of the company, it's not, it's not actually changing. Okay, the value of the company doesn't actually change. All you're doing is issuing more shares onto the on, onto existing shareholders. So it may seem that oh, I've got extra shares, I've got free shares, but in actual fact, the share value will fall, and and it will correct itself. It's a bit like when an economy prints. If a, if a, if an economy starts to print more and more money. The value of that money will fall. What you could buy for five pounds, you won't be able to buy for five pounds anymore, because the value of that currency will fall. 
okay it will deflate and it's the same for a company if you're going to issue bonus shares expect the share price to fall okay so a bonus issue in summary is when a business can't afford to give out dividends instead they will give you a free share or free shares okay Another example, so we've got a company that has £200,000 worth of shares, 25p per share, which is the nominal value, and what they are going to do is they're going to do three new shares for every two. Okay, so slightly different, three new for every two. So we have £200,000, step number one, work out how many shares are in issue at the moment, divided by 25, 800,000 shares are in issue. Divided by 2 times by 3. So 800,000, let's work out for 3 new for every 2. So divided by 2 times by 3 will give us 1.2 million. Okay. Or you could do 800 times by 2 over 3. And students tend to, when they see this, every, you know, 3 new for every 2. Same with the rights issue, for some reason why they sort of do things the opposite, so they'll do divided by 3 times by 2. And what I say to them is, you know, if, if, you, are, if you don't know how to do this, just remember this is a, a bit of a guide for you. Always do, you know, value divided by total number of, uh, total value of shares divided by the price per share. How many shares do you have? And then when you get to this step number two, do 800,000 shares divided by existing times by new. Existing two for every two held times by the new. The bonus issue times by. It's, it's always going to be, you know, three new for every two. Or five new for every one. Or ten new for every two. So the, la the way it's phrased, the way AQA phrase it is like this. So take the last one first, and the first one last, okay? So what this particular company is going to do is they're going to give three new for every two. So they're going to say to the existing shareholders, look, if you have two shares, we're going to, um, for every two you have, we're going to give you three. If you have two shares, we'll give you three. If you have four shares, will give you six. If you have six shares, we'll give you nine. That's basically how it's working. Okay, so 800,000 divided by two times by three gives us 1.2 million. Okay, and in terms of value, 1.2 million shares are going out at 25p nominal value, so 300,000 pounds worth of shares. Okay. So a company, this particular company, they already have two hundred thousand pounds worth of shares in issue. They will have a further three hundred thousand pounds in terms of book value, okay, going out. So in total, they will have five hundred thousand pounds worth of shares after the issue has been made. So the two hundred original, the three hundred new, leaving it to you know half a million pounds worth of shares on the books and like I said on the books it will be 500,000 however on the stock exchange the value of shares will most probably fall because of this share issue okay what you've got to remember with shares is you know for a business the shares are at one particular price whenever they are sold you know if a business sells shares they sell them at price x they get their cash on the books as what, what is shown at the selling price. Obviously, investors will have those shares, and those shares are determined by market forces. Those shares will either fall in value or you know, rise in value. But the price of the market, uh, the market price of a share, and what the company has sold them at, they're, 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 they're always two different things. Okay, What a business does, and if they've had a, a good trading period, or a poor trading period, the stocks will will change in value. That's why stock market prices they change on a on a second by second basis. Every second, every minute, every day, um, the stocks are always changing in price because of what's happening in in the market. Not just by what decisions the businesses are making, 
about what's happening to other competitors, what's happening to the economy, you know, what's happening to, you know, the price of gold has a has an effect on share price. The price of uh, what's happening in countries, you know, political factors have an impact on share prices, uh, and so on. You know, ev everything. The housing market has an impact on share prices. Everything. The price of oil. They, th these are factors that impact uh, share values, company shares. So the main thing what you've got to understand is when a business has sold shares, whether it be a ordinary share value, whether it be at a premium, whether it be at a rights issue or a bonus issue, the company that sold shares, the value will it will have a book value, and that that is what is reflected on the company's accounts. However, when they go onto the stock exchange or when they're in the hands of shareholders they will be at a different price but they are two separate things okay and going through this particular topic as we go through this particular topic we'll see you know different style questions and you'll be able to see the changes of when you have different types of shares how does that look on a company's accounts again that is one of the objectives so the objective of this video uh, and part one was um, ordinary shares if we just go back to the summary we'll do a quick recap so ordinary shares is a business that sells shares at the nominal value or at the par value or at the baseline or the base the base price of a share okay and that is known as ordinary shares and the money that's generated is known as share capital you have premium shares which are sold above the nominal value or above the par value or above the base price and any money that is sold any money that is received above the base price is that is that goes into a separate category called premium so imagine 40p base price and 60p they are sold 40p is nominal 20p is is go that goes into your premium account Okay, so premium is sold above par. You have a rights issue, which is when a business issues shares to existing shareholders. It is a way of uh, keeping hold of a bit more control. And they can be sold at nominal, they can be sold at premium. Okay, that is a rights issue. And the final one is a bonus issue, which is when a business issues free shares to existing shareholders. Okay, the first three will involve cash, they will involve money coming into the bank. The fourth one, there is no money coming in, it is simply shares being issued to existing shareholders for free. Okay, and I will talk more about this particular share and how, how is it capitalized. You know, the first three, there is capitalization through cash okay they are realized because money is coming into a business but what about bonus issue how can you just put in another couple of million onto a balance sheet onto a financial position when money hasn't come from anywhere well the money will come from somewhere and it's not through cash it is the company's own reserves and i will talk more through about this when we look at different types of reserves how is a bonus share how is it capitalized how do you just get all these free shares from nowhere how can a business offer all these free shares to shareholders okay how is it it's called capitalization of shares and i'll be talking more through um with this particular point in the forthcoming video so i hope you found it useful i hope you've got a better understanding of different types of shares these are just some of the types of shares there are many many different types of shares uh, which aqa will not test you on uh, which are more degree level um, understanding but aqa that this is what they expect you to know so i hope you found it useful and um thank you thank you for listening